Four years in prison. That's sentenced tonight for a former New York cop for obstructing justice. It's part of a plea deal because Valerie Cincinnati was charged with trying to hire a hitman to kill her estranged husband and the 13 year old daughter of her boyfriend. And because she's already served time, she could get out soon. Here's Iowa News reporter Stacy Sager. Valerie Cincinnati was a New York City cop decorated for catching criminals in the 106th precinct. But now she's a convicted felon herself after plotting to kill her estranged husband, Isaiah Carvajal, and her boyfriend's teenage daughter. Her boyfriend, John DeRuba, agreeing to help the feds and make troubling recordings of the plot played in court today. They can subpoena these photos. But Cincinnati tearful and apologetic, telling the judge, quote, I was angry, I was horrible, but I can promise you I never intended for that to happen. We're very pleased with the result here. The murder for hire charges were dismissed. In a plea agreement, Cincinnati only admitted to obstruction of justice. So trying to strike a balance between that and the disturbing details of this case, the judge sentenced her today to 48 months in prison. With time served, home confinement and good behavior, it means she could get out in just six months. For Carvajal, who told the judge today his estranged wife was cruel and selfish, uncertainty about what the future holds. Do you ever get over something like this? Ever? Anything at all to say about her? The case, an emotional roller coaster, which included pictures of Carvajal faking his own murder, so Cincinnati would believe her alleged plot was complete, a plot they say she was determined to carry out. Absolutely, it was already in play. It would have been. It was, it was staged that he was dead and she got the pictures back right now. We can move on. I mean, it's, it's sick. But the defense still maintaining Cincinnati was set up by the men in her life that an officer with a perfect record became unhinged. She lived a stellar life up until the time she met John Deruba. And he says her family is ready to have her home. In Central Islip, I'm Stacey Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.